What's up guys, my name is Crescent. So one of my most popular videos is how to navigate and use the new shipping plan workflow on Amazon to create a new shipping plan. And since I published that video, I've been getting a lot of people asking me how to edit, cancel, or delete a shipping plan that they've already created. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily do that. But first, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really means a lot to me, more than you know, and it really helps to support me and this channel in getting this video out to more people just like you, and I really appreciate it. So thank you. And with that said, let's get started. Okay, so first things first. If you're wondering how to create a shipping plan in the first place, I'll leave a link to a detailed video on how you can do that down in the video description below. I'm not gonna show you how to do that in this video. I'm gonna assume that you've already created a shipping plan and you need to edit, cancel, or delete it. Okay, so a common question I get all the time is how do you edit a shipping plan? Well, the short answer is you can't. If you've already completed the shipping plan, meaning you clicked finish on the last step of the shipping plan, then you can no longer make any changes to it. In most cases, your only option is to delete or cancel the shipping plan and create a new one. However, there are a few minor things that you can edit. So to edit a shipping plan, click on Menu, Inventory, Shipments, and on the shipping plan you want to edit, click on Work on Shipment. Now, the few options that you are able to edit, if you click on Step 3, you can change the shipment date. The date you set here is actually irrelevant. It's mostly just for your own reference. Amazon doesn't care when you actually ship it. You can also change the shipment name by clicking on the rename option here. I actually suggest you name your shipments to something more easily identifiable, especially when you get to the point where you have multiple products and multiple shipments, so you know what each shipment is for, rather than the default name, which can be confusing, as you don't know what the shipping plan is actually for from the default name. Now, also on step three, if you need to print or reprint the shipping labels, you can do so here. Now, if you need to enter the tracking numbers for your shipment, you can do so by clicking on the Enter Tracking Details button here. One thing to note is that you don't actually have to enter the tracking numbers. They're just for your own reference. Amazon will still accept your shipment when it arrives at the warehouse, even if you didn't enter the tracking numbers. Now, a pro tip. You can in fact change how many units you are shipping to Amazon, which is the most common reason why most people want to edit the shipping plan. However, there is a caveat. If you click on the view or edit contents link here, you can see that you're able to make changes to your shipment. So for example, let's say I want to ship more units. You can see that I get an error. Cannot add box or boxes. Unit quantity changes cannot exceed 5% or six units per SKU per shipment, whichever is greater. So that's the caveat. You can only change the number of units you want to send in by 5% or six units, whichever is greater. Okay, so that's how you can edit a shipping plan that you've already completed. However, if you've started working on a shipping plan and didn't complete it and navigated away from the create a new shipping plan workflow, you can go back and continue to work on it at a later time. The problem, however, is if you go to the shipping queue, the shipping plan you were working on doesn't appear on this list. For example, if I create a new shipping plan and only complete the first step here, and then go do something else, if I navigate to the shipping queue, You'll notice that the new shipping plan isn't here for me to continue working on it. So in order to continue working on it, click on shipments at the top here and then click on send to Amazon. You'll notice that the original shipping plan pops up and you'll be able to continue where you left off. Now, if for some reason you need to cancel or delete a shipping plan that you've already created, and there's a number of reasons why you would want to do that, such as like I mentioned earlier, you need to make a change to a shipping plan and you can't edit the old shipping plan, or you have unused shipping plans in your shipping queue that's using up your storage limit and you need to free up more storage space in order to send in more inventory. Remember, you can check your storage and restock limits at the bottom of the shipping queue page here. The storage and restock limits are grouped by tier now, not by product. The new storage limits can be confusing, so if you wanna learn more about how the new storage limits work, I'll leave a link in the description below that goes over it. Now, be aware that each time you create a new shipping plan, the number of units you've entered into the shipping plan is allocated and deducted from your total available storage and restock limit. So make sure you delete unused shipping plans if you're getting an error that you don't have enough available storage space when you create a new shipping plan. All right, so to cancel or delete a shipping plan, Again, on the shipping plan that you want to cancel, 
click on work on shipment. Scroll down to the bottom and you can cancel the shipping plan by clicking on the cancel shipment buttons here. Now you don't have to cancel a shipping plan. You can actually leave them in your shipping queue in case you plan to use it in the future. However, shipping plans do expire after 90 days and the status will automatically be changed to closed like you can see here. And a pro tip, if you have a shipment that's already on the way to Amazon's warehouse and the shipping plan gets closed by Amazon, that's okay. Amazon will still accept the shipment when it arrives at the warehouse. And again, remember, like I mentioned earlier, the number of units you entered into the shipping plan is deducted from your total storage and restock limits, even if the shipping plan isn't being used. So make sure you delete unused shipping plans if you're getting restock limit errors when you go to create a new shipping plan. Now, if the shipping plan you created is using the partnered carrier program, you can also cancel or delete it here. However, if it's been longer than 24 hours since you created that shipping plan, you'll no longer be refunded the shipping charges. You can see here that it says, your fees will not be canceled even if the shipment is canceled. All right, and that's it. Again, if you wanna learn more about how to create a shipping plan from scratch, or how to ship multiple SKUs in a single shipping plan, I'll leave links to videos that go into detail on that in the video description below. So if you wanna get in touch with me, you can find all of my contact details in the video description below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so leave a comment or question in the comment section below. I answer every single one. And as always, if you found value in this video, consider subscribing and do me a favor, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really does help me out and I'd appreciate it. And make sure you ring that bell so you never miss a future video. All right, thanks for watching.